The clutter on your phone is like hidden stress and it weighs on you. We don't want stress. We want to eliminate the stress, especially from our phone. I want my phone to support me and make my life easy. I use my phone to literally run 80% of my business because I'm out and about. So I've set it up to support me when I'm not at my laptop. I'm going to give you my best organizing strategies that I use to organize my phone, my best productivity apps that I have on here and how I use them. I recommend that you go and grab your phone while you're watching this video and let's begin to declutter and organize your phone together. First thing that you want to do is go and review your apps and see what subscriptions you have and let's start deleting. So if you just go to your settings and click on your name, you can unsubscribe to any subscriptions that you might have and it'll also tell you when they're renewing, you could make a notation in your calendar to come back to that and if you want to cancel them. Next, you want to go to your iPhone settings and go to general and click on iPhone storage. You will see how much space is being used up and then you can see it'll give you recommendations on what you should delete. Now, you probably have a lot of apps on here and videos. You will have photos. I know for me, I'm always having to delete those. When you go here, it'll say empty your deleted album. But before you do that, you may want to just take a quick look at all the apps that you have on here and you can see which ones are taking up the most amount of space in the memory. Make sure to offload any apps that you're not using and if you want you can also just save them to your library so they're not on your home screen. How you would do that is you just go to your home screen and let's just say I don't want this and then see it says edit remove app. You click that it says remove from home screen or you can delete the app. I don't want to I want to remove it from the home screen and there it's gone. I've set up my phone so my photos automatically back up to Google Photos. You can back them up to the iCloud. When I go into my Google Photos, I can literally just go to the top here. I select this. It'll say that it's backing up and it will take them from my phone, put them up into Google Photos. And then I go into my laptop. I check Google Photos. I make sure that they're there before I delete them all on my phone. Then you can go to your settings and then go to your iPhone storage and that is where you can hit empty, delete from this phone. It'll permanently delete all the selected items and you won't be able to recover them so that's why I always double check to make sure that my phones have sunk up to Google Photos. Next you want to turn off notifications and any badges so go to your settings, go to notifications and inside there I like to have a scheduled summary and you can turn that on then that means that you'll just get a scheduled summary instead of everything all at once from your mail apps, your phone and that'll also minimize the distractions during the day. You can also go in here and you can scroll through all of your apps as well and I have most of them turned off. There's the odd one where I do want some notifications so you can go into your app and you can turn Turn off the badges and then you won't get any of those pesky round red notifications saying that you have 20 text messages and 432 emails that you haven't read. Now I want to show you what's on my home screen. You want to organize your phone based on how your brain works. If you're someone who wants to color code your apps, then go ahead and color code them. You can also create widgets, you can create shortcuts, you can create folders and group like activities or like apps together. I use a combination of all of those. Let's dive in to see how I've set up my home page. On my home screen, what I've done is I've created some widgets. You swipe way over to the right, you hit the plus sign, you've got widgets, there's preset ones in here, you can customize them and that's what these are. Up here so you can see I have a widget here for my calendar. I also have one for sauna and I love this because it makes it easy for me to see what my focus is for the week. Now I did create an app and it's where I log my water and you can see here how many fluid every time I have a glass of water or maybe I had a whole several of them I can track that in here. I really like to do that. 
I also set up a widget. It's uh, set decluttering and chores for the week. You can customize this. You can scroll through here and you can say, okay, I need to take the recycling to the depot. I want to declutter my kitchen counters. I'm just sort of doing my Sunday reset. And then sometime this week, I'd like to go through my books and declutter them on my bookshelves to free up some space. And I'm decluttering my phone. When you hit done, it will send notifications. You can schedule them on the particular day that you want to do it and you select a time. So I'm going to do this at 7.30 at night and it'll do that for each of the reminders on your phone. When you're done, it sets them all into your reminders tab. You don't have to set a time, but that was a widget that I customized inside of the widget app. The other thing that I like to do is I've created some shortcuts. And one of the shortcuts is focus time. When I really want to get focus time and I'm at my desk or I'm out somewhere doing some work, I can set that. It'll play my focus music. It will set my timer for 50 minutes and then it'll remind me to get up, go and have a drink of water to stretch. And then I can come back and take a break because we all know that if you just keep on going all day long, your attention actually decreases. So you want to make sure that you're taking regular breaks. And so I created a shortcut on focus time. I also have a shortcut here that goes to filming. Take me to my Asana task where we have all of our content and I can just scroll to my YouTube to record and everything is here. It's just all at my fingertips, whereas before it took me four or five clicks or even more to find it. Also on my screen, I have my fitness, Feel for Fat Loss with Simone Lavelle. And here I have all of my recipes. She has workouts for me every day. She's got the meal plans all done for me. I can also track my water in here if I want, but I set up the other app. Another app that I have on my phone is Reader. What I love about Reader is, you know, the newsletters that you get, you can actually forward them to Reader, unclog your inbox, and I can read these at my leisure. It's completely taken all of those emails that I subscribe to and who I follow out of my inbox and they put them into Reader. And then from here, I can decide what I want to read. So instead of surfing the internet or going to social media, I can get caught up up on my reading right inside of this app. There's all kinds of cool things that you can do inside of there. The other app I have on here is my Google Drive and my Google Photos. I use these for my business and they are apps that I use all the time. So they need to be front on my home screen. Uh, LastPass is what I use for all of my passwords. Google Keep, I love Google Keep. This is another great note-taking app. I have my packing checklists in here, my other project checklist that I'm working on. This is where we had some grocery items or if we're going to Costco, I can just come in here and I can upload photos and it has these fun little emojis. My errands are all in here. So literally it's at my fingertips. The best part about Google Keep is you can easily share the list with other family members or clients or friends if you want to. I share them with family members as well. And all they need is a Gmail account. Love, love, love. Simplify my life. Been using this app for over six, seven years and it just works perfectly. I have my WhatsApp and then of course my Asana. And then at the bottom, I've just put the apps that I literally wanna have at my fingertips and I don't want them to move around. You'll see the widget that I have at the very top. This is my calendar. You can see what's up for today and for tomorrow. And it shows the time zones that I want, Eastern, Central, Malaysia, and also in London. The first page is more my productivity, things that I want to have front and center in my face. I used to have my social media icons on here in a group. And what I found was is it was too tempting and easy to go and open them, whereas this really helps me to stay focused on what I want to accomplish during the week. The second page on my phone is for business where I've created some groups like for finance, filming and video. So if I go into filming and video, I have all these apps that I use. I have a group for all my social medias. I do a lot of shopping because I'm always sourcing products for our organizing projects. That's why shopping is front and center. And so I'm in the Amazon and some other shopping apps on a daily or or every other day. Google Maps I use because I'm always trying to get to my next client and helps me to figure out the quickest route to get there. 
The other app that I absolutely love is called ReadWise, and it works with Reader as well. So when I'm in my Kindle, I highlight all this great information and I can never remember how to find it again. What it does is once you connect it to your Kindle, you can also connect it to Pocket and Instapaper. It will take all the highlights from all of the books that you're reading and it puts it all in here and you can repurpose them. It'll bring up five a day and it just sort of brings it front of mind. And then if you want to do something with it, you can. So I use Reader and read wise. It's an amazing time-saving productivity app. Highly, highly recommend that. I have my Kindle. I created a shortcut for that. I'm currently reading Deep Work by Kel and I have highlighted some things in here and it immediately showed in reader wise. So whatever book I'm currently reading, I have that right at my fingertips and I see that more than I see my social media. So it's just easy for me to get caught up on my reading instead of waste three hours on social media, which is so easy to do. I have another app here. It's called Clockify. And I love the Clockify app. It's what I use with my organizing team. We track all of our client hours in here. And then I'm able to download those when I go to do my invoicing. Saves me a lot of time. Another app that I love is Stow Cards. The other day I was in an office and there was all these points cards. Well, you can enter them all in Stow Card and then when you're at your favorite store or even when I'm at the post office, they literally can just scan your code. They have a barcode system. Just take your card and it will scan the barcode and it will put it into Stow Card and then they're all at your fingertips so you don't have to carry those. Less weight in my wallet. So I love that app. There's a reminders. You can see that I'm going to take the laundry out. Actually, I did the laundry. Take out the recycling, wash the sheets. We like to wash them in hot water just for my allergies. Yeah, so that's the reminders app. You can use that however you want to use it. Love, love, love this app, Sortly. Another business app that I use where I have all of my products are all inventoried inside of the Sortly app. It's not a free app, it's a paid app. What's nice about this is I literally can scan the barcode when I'm on site. So if there's a product and it has a barcode, I just scan it and I move it out of inventory. I put it into a client folder. Then when I wanted to go and do my invoicing, all I need to do is download that client's products that I use. It has the price, totals it all up, puts it in a CSV file in Excel, and then I can just invoice my clients on the products that I use. Also, it'll tell me when I'm low on a product and I can place an order for that as well. I have my parking apps, which I use lots. I have the main one I use, and if I need to find them, I can do a quick search and find another parking app. There's so many of them, can't keep track anymore. What else do I have in here? My Gmail, Chrome, and my messages. My third screen is, these are more personal, and I love to see photos from the, you know, when you get the highlights from three or five or seven years, it's just kind of nice, and I'll flip through those and just take a few minutes to enjoy the spotlights. And sometimes Google Photos creates these great little videos for me. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I can use them on my social media or paste them, put them to my Facebook group or I can share them with family. I have groups on my phones. You can see I have groups. So I have books. It's just a different books apps that I have and that I like to use. I have fitness and wellness. I put together all of my medical and my health apps. I can go into my health app and it will tell me how many steps. So my phone is in my back pocket when I'm working on site. The other day I was climbing up and down stairs, a lot of stairs. I did over 7,000 steps just inside a house. And so that was just kind of nice to keep that front and center and also track my water. I have an entertainment. I have one for music. I also have one for travel. So anything to do with travel, I've sort of grouped all of those apps together. I have a few weather and there's two apps that I use for my label makers. I have the Cube, the Brother Cube. I want to run a label. I just come in here and it sends it from my phone to my little Cube printer. And I just have a couple of apps that I toggle. I like one better than the other. 
Google Photo Scan, love this. You literally can take a scan of kids' artwork and it will take four photos. It compresses them all together into one and you can take the artwork from your kids or you can take a photo of the pottery that they've created and then you can get rid of all of those miscellaneous pieces of paper that you've had for 10, 15, 20 years because you now have a scanned copy and then you can create a photo book out of that. So I love Google Photo Scans, one of my favorite apps. I use Growth Day app, I love that. And that's it. If I need to find an app, I just save them to my app library and I just keep my phone very lean. And as you can see, my phone is here to help my day go a whole lot smoother and help me to be more productive and to minimize the distractions. Whereas before I would see that I had 20 emails that I needed to respond to and messages from my team. This has just been a game changer for me since I added some of these groups and created some shortcuts. Oh, for shortcuts, if you haven't downloaded it, it's called shortcuts, looks like this, and you just go in there and you can create your shortcuts. You can see right here, I created this, and then you just wanna hit the edit sign, you can change the name, and you will see down here, you can choose the scripting and say what the next action is, so it's automating it for you. So think of things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. There are some preset shortcuts in there, and you can also take some of those shortcuts and just customize them the way you want. You can change the color, you can do all kinds of fun things with those. To make Make your own shortcuts. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite productivity are and what widgets or shortcuts that you've created that really make a difference in your life. Make sure to subscribe and check out our other videos on how to organize and declutter and simplify your life so that you just have this ease and grace and flow to your day.